Welcome to Reflections, a program where we discuss values and virtues for the transformation of the individual and the society in general. I am Father George Ehusani, and I have in the studio with me again Umi Yakubu. Umi, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, Umi Yakubu is creative director of Great Studio, and she's a multimedia designer and developer. Uh, multimedia meaning uh, movies, uh, games, animations, um, documentaries. documentaries, and so on and so forth. And uh, social media, you must be very good at uh, all the platforms, <laughs> not right? Not really. <laughs> Personally, not really. Personally, but uh, officially, I mean. Uh, yes, you good. have to. <laughs> so, um, once again, mm -hmm. with Umi, we want to discuss this time. Mm -hmm. What is it that the practitioners of this media, this new media, mm -hmm. and luckily you are in most of them, mm -hmm. how can they be used as an instrument for social transformation mm. i would say for national regeneration because you have platforms that maybe 60 70 percent of the younger generation are involved in yes. if you are not a twitter user you are a, a instagram user. you are a facebook user uh, you are on internet mm. most of the time you have your iphone mm. and so on and so forth so how can we use this the benefits of this new media mm -hmm. to reach our young people not just to reflect society as mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm but to promote the kind of society we desire. Yes. Uh, a, a society where there is discipline, mm -hmm. a society where there's transparency, a society th where there's integrity, where we don't have the level of corruption that we have today, mm -hmm. a society that does not promote uh, materialism and, and consumerism, mm -hmm. as if human beings are to be defined by how much they can consume mm -hmm. or they can how gather. They have. Mm -hmm. How can we use the modern media mm -hmm. to um, to, to promote these desirable values. I mean, there is a popular saying that like um, life imitates art, but yes. it's also cyclical. It's life imitates art, art also imitates life. Yes. And I really like the point that you made in that even, forget Nigeria, globally, we do have a lot of, um, if we're going to use movies as an example, we do have a lot of movies that kind of pro allow you imagination. Mm -hmm. And from that imagination is where people actually now create things in your mm -hmm. life. One of the biggest benef um, benefactors of that has been technology. Yes. I don't know if you remember Star Trek. Star Trek was like a TV series that yes. happened, uh, that was running Way in the 80s. And, yes. But a lot of technological um, the ideas that they had exist now because the as inventors, reality. exactly. As it the was inventors, science fiction at that time. But now it's real reality. So th that one of the things that, that um, movies predominantly allow you to do is that imagination. So what we do have currently, you rightfully mentioned, is that movies tend to just reflect. Um, and to a certain extent, it reflects only a small aspect yes, of, of, our, of, of our, exactly. Yes. The things that we see in especially Nigerian movies, they are reality. It does happen in somebody's community and whatnot. But again, because they are the ones that have the widest platform, it now seems that it's more universal. It is more widespread I, than it actually is. I have is. an institute in Nairobi, and I do go now and again to Nairobi. Yes. And our friends in Kenya, mm -hmm. when they see us, mm -hmm. they say, ah, so Nigerians, you people are so wicked. Exactly. Because they have watched two or three. Nigerian and they're all videos. about the same thing. And they are all about the same thing. And it does now give the impression exactly. that this is how we live. And that is the same thing. It gives Nigerians the same impression as well. Because one of the, the, the rise in, and somebody actually studied this, studied this, the rise in the belief. Yes, well, we superstition. Look, they can, yes, in juju and superstition and whatnot came in with the rise of Nollywood. Mo Nollywood movies because even if people had an idea but it wasn't something as widespread but if every single Nollywood movie you're watching is it's, talking, it's, it's, so it's you're going to believe it. that it happens yes. more frequently more rampant than, and whatnot, the, real than the reality mm -hmm. so this is why I talk about strengthening the people that are talking about something completely different give them those platforms give them the same platform let, let us have more movies that are talking about doing the right yes. and let me give you an example talk just running back to the film that we made um Fourth Fourth Republic. Republic. Um, when we screened it in Conakry, uh, it, it was a regional meeting of different civil society organizations in West Africa. So people from across West Africa were at that screening and we watched the film and we were asking for the feedback. And somebody from Li Liberia actually said the reason why he really, really likes the movie, he doesn't really watch Nollywood movies anymore, but he grew up on them, is that he really likes the movie because in lots of Nigerian movies, either God saves you or this juju man saves you. you. Okay. That's what solves your problem. Hmm. But in this film, human beings 
are the ones that solve Do their own problems. It. Exactly. And that alone was something was a big takeaway for us. So if you give movies like ours platform to show that, okay, yes, there are people that something miraculous happens that saves them. And there's some people that they would have to go through um, unfortunate circumstances to get what they want. But they're also human beings that are solving their yeah. own problems. Uh, like you know that. what I say about the this new or renewed superstition in Nigeria, which mm. the Nollywood reflects a mm. lot, mm. is to say the human being doesn't have a responsibility. Mm -hmm. Like you said, mm. either God saves you mm. or the juju saves you. Mm -hmm. But what about the effort of the human being? Exactly. It's That's just it's just earlier earlier in the day I was speaking to uh, our course participants and I say, look, somebody is an alcoholic. Somebody mm. drinks a lot and takes his vehicle mm. and goes to have a ghastly accident, and Everybody in his family says it is the some devil. juju, some <laughs> devil, and, and so on. But what about the responsibility okay. of this guy? Yes. Uh, yes. So those are the kind of things that, the, as you said, mm. the movie industry, local movie industry has projected. Mm. And to be fair, you can't, like, it, it's, it's, again, we're going to go back to the demand and supply thing. Because there is no supply of any of the... Of the for other the, for the longest time, let's not, let's leave it. For the longest time, there was no other supply of movies except those kind of films. So now the marketers are so used to that that any other movie they're hesitant. They will be they're a bit hesitant because they're not really sure how their audience will react to it. So because they do not give those audience, the audience cannot now demand for these kind of movies because they're not aware that it exists. So where do we go from here? Exactly. It all comes down to supporting the people that you know are doing these kind of things. If you if for example you are aware like us that we're making conscious media, this wonderful platform that you've given us right now on your show, you've given people access to us that otherwise they might not have found. Mm -hmm. So in supporting the people that you know, and one of the greatest examples of this is the music industry. You have you have mainstream musicians, but you also have other musicians that do a bit more conscious music. They might not get as much airplay on the radio, but then if you have people inviting them to concerts, people yes. inviting them for interviews, people asking them to perform at events and whatnot, they are now then gaining Get exactly the they get popularity they get capacity and then they get they are now giving on so that allows people to be more aware that hey should i decide i'm not interested in listening to this kind of just entertainment music and i want to listen to something that has a bit more consciousness to it this is the person to go to so as regular as as consumers of these of of these types of media if you are aware of somebody that's doing conscious entertainment or conscious media give them a platform because what you're doing is now pushing, pushing those, the other exactly side. so that it's a balanced view mm -hmm. because in mm -hmm. every society you do have if you're even in let's even say the biggest movie industry is hollywood you have silly movies yes. you have movies that are very and serious and then you have movies movie. that are in the middle where they are they can be they can be entertaining but there's also like a takeaway from it that is not too obvious and mm -hmm. whatnot so in, in a regular in, in a more advanced society there usually is that balance um, but right now, because especially because our entertainment industry is not formalized in terms of structure and infrastructure, it has always been um, self-taught people. It has always been pushed by the people that had the passion for it. So there's no structure in it. It's a bit more difficult to say, okay, we're going to put policies that allow for conscious entertainment and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So the best we can do right now with the environment that we're in, because it's still relatively new, still a relatively new industry for us. And um, the best we can do is support and push, amplify the people that you know are doing it mm -hmm. amplify because once people are aware that these people exist people will seek them out more but if i cannot if i don't know that these people yes. exist should i even if i say i'm not listening to any type of rubbish music right now what do i listen what to what do i listen to exactly yeah. uh, now talking about coming back to the fourth republic yes uh great studio that of which you you, uh, you are the uh creative director for uh, mm -hmm. great studio you people have just produced Fort Republic. Yes. Um, and I know that mm. you belong to, is it the entertainment cohort of uh, yes, the, the MacArthur uh, Foundation grant? MacArthur's uh, uh, On Nigeria uh, project. Mm. Um, so this Fort Republic was meant to do what? Um, one of the first reasons we wanted to do uh, Fourth Republic was bas was basically hold a mirror to the society. One of the things that we talk about in that these are the values that we uphold. There's the values that we say we want and then the values that we actually uphold. That and was the one of the and the contradiction. contradiction. Exactly. That was the first thing we wanted to do. But the second of, um, thing we wanted to do was analyze this whole do or die nature of our Politics. elections. Um, most especially politics, yes, but most especially the elections. And I understand because there's a lot of things at stake, but the whole do or die nature Dimension, of it, exactly, yes. as well as the importance of a strong, independent judiciary in upholding our democracy. Because yes, the democracy aspect allows you to go to the polls and vote for whoever you want, but because we have tribunals, the democracy, the judiciary is still part of upholding that democracy. So even if we do have a situation where at the election you cannot make a decision, you take it to your decision and you take it to the courts. Where, how are the judiciary 
upholding our democracy by handling how, how are they handling that because they can make or break the democratic process of yes. that so those are the things that we wanted to highlight um to be fair uh, but the most important thing was just to hold the hold the mirror to society. and we did i know we talked about this but we did have elements of that um hopeful future aspect of mm -hmm. it because this um the the film itself it follows a, a female governor which has not yet happened in Nigeria. Yes, so the, which is which is part of what you mean that the uh, movie maker mm -hmm. imagines a better future exactly. and the involvement of women. Exactly. Okay. So in the film, you see a female governor who is as competent as any other governor yes. and whatnot, and it's sort of it doesn't seem so outrageous anymore because if you talk to every anybody on the street and they say female governor, the average person is like, ah, I know we're not ready. But if you're watching a film where nothing is different, you're a bit less averse to that idea because you've seen it. If albeit is fiction, you've seen it and it didn't look too out of place. Yes. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary. So that prepares the people. Exactly. Yeah. So that's where we say where you allow for imagination and whatnot. But again, back to the, the purpose of the film was basically to reflect to, to just hold the mirror to society. Like are we is this what we really want? It's one thing to say this is what we want, but this is how we're doing it. Is this is this are we comfortable with who we are? And second of all, um, Again, the importance of a judiciary and mm. independence, specifically strong Talk, enough Talking judiciary. about the importance of the judiciary, which yes. the, the, the movie brings out. Mm. In Nigeria today, because of the number of litigations, post-election litigations, the yes. judiciary is pretty much the one that decides half of the cases of exactly, elections. Exactly, exactly. So if so, there is no confidence, yes. and, and even, and, and again, one of the things we talked about earlier was that perception. If there is no confidence that you will be able to do this fairly, then there is no respect for the result. Yes. There will always be people challenging it. So it goes from one court to the other because we still don't believe that you are strong enough and fair enough to give us. And the, the violence is in elections mm -hmm. is somehow related to how it, much confidence people it's have not in the somehow judici It is judiciary. related because if I know that my candidate did not win at the polls and there was there was some sort of, uh, as we say, woo that went on, on at, the, at the polls. And if I'm confident in the justice system and I take it to court, I know that justice will prevail and the winners will come out. But if I have that confidence, the, the only other way is to disrupt it. And that's usually where people end mm -hmm. up to violence. If people had more confidence, there will be a reduction. Obviously, you still have people that are looking for opportunities to create chaos, but the violence will definitely reduce because I know it's like when you're wronged. As, as children, when you're wronged, somebody you does something. Daddy, if you go yeah. Exactly. You know that you will get a fair hearing from this. You will not beat the child back. You will go and report and they will get their punishment. And that's where it stops. But if I know that daddy is always going to side with this person, yeah, person, I might as well get my revenge here and there. That's basically which is which is sad because <laughs> it is. What, what what it really shows is that hey the judiciary is responsible for a lot in any democracy. Exactly, you know it's very important in supporting the democracy because it, the the buck doesn't just end with the people itself. Sometimes it goes through systems, and if the systems cannot handle it properly, it's 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 detrimental. It's quite detrimental. Did you get any support from INEC for this movie? Um. Because I mean, <laughs> INEX should be very grateful to a great well, studio we, for producing We did, this we did um, reach out to them um, uh, while we were producing the movie, but we didn't hear back from them until mm -hmm. we had finished. But when we invited them to the premiere, they mm -hmm. showed up, and we—that's when we found out that the documentation got lost, and at some point, the, the people at the head didn't receive it. But they did come to the premiere, Premier, yeah. and so far, we've not heard any negative view from them. Uh, we're actually hoping to go interact with them to find out their opinions and how we can use this film to actually help support their efforts. So Nigeria, I think Nigerians should be grateful to uh, <laughs> uh, Makato Foundation and uh, other, any other groups that uh, have supported Osiwa the, also, Osiwa Open Society, supported, Initiative, Open Society West, Initiative. Yeah, West they Africa. also supported the film. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now, back to the question. Yes. This movie is one um, step in the right direction. Yes. It's one example of what you can use the new media to do. Mm -hmm. Now, what else can we do? Like the social media. Mm -hmm. You see, I talk about radio stations. Mm -hmm. The number of young people who are now anchor people at the radio stations, the kind of music they enjoy. Is what they play. It's what they play. Mm -hmm. How are you going to how are you going to get them to enjoy another kind of music and, and begin to play that? How? I, again, this is as an on-air personality or as an on-air um, radio person, you don't necessarily have to, you, you cannot say it's what you enjoy. It's what the people demand. Your, list, your listeners. There's first of all what the people, what the listeners want, and then what is um, what they can. What I don't want to say the studio itself, but the the, the collective that it, that has authority mm -hmm. decides is more profitable for them. Because if I play this kind of music and I get seventy more people playing it, and you play this other music and only two people are listening, 
obviously the 70 again that bottom line has to come in with businesses is a bit more difficult to to in, in enforce any morality or ethics as long as it's not a business ethic because their bottom line has always been which is why in the, the u.s profit, uh -huh. which is why in the u.s community radios are so important exactly that was where, what I was where going to say. profit is not the, so the, the, when once you, again if you're not influencing the baseline using the bottom line using the the target audience then you have to give a, a chance for people where they're not worried so worried about about making profits and and for us a good example would be even for the fourth republic thanks to osiwa and MacArthur's um contribution we weren't too focused on making the film sellable we were focused on making the film as good as promote, it should be exactly yes. exactly not necessarily even promote because the film is entertaining at least we've gotten feedback that the film is entertaining so it's a good example of how you can be entertained but also be reflecting on what actually the, the the message of the film is so you do have opportunities where if you take away that pressure of having to make money um, so even with a, with a popular radio station, if you go to a very popular radio station and you say, I'm going to pay for 30 minutes and play this, this kind of music, best believe they will play it because you've already paid for it. Yes. So you remove that pressure of that money aspect and, and that's where you get. And then if you, for that 30 minutes, if you do this, say you do this for about 10 radio stations nationwide yes. and you play one particular artist, I'm pretty sure that once people like this this particular artist's music, they're going to start demanding for their music. Mm -hmm. This is again when I talk about supporting yes. the people that... So we need... We need the people who believe that they have values and who push. are passionate about uh, lasting values for our country. We need them to put their money where their mouth is. Exactly. And sometimes it's not even financial. In a situation where, let's assume right now, Lux Terra wants to do a, a, a concert yes. of some sort and they want to get influential people to show up. If, a, a, as a part of your congregation, maybe there's a youth group in your congregation, if the youth group insists that, no, this is the person we like, it's not a financial Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. um, support, but it's insisting that this is the person that should have that. So they've now given it to you now because if the youth group is insisting that this is the person they want to listen to, and the youth group is a large part of your stakeholder, yes. you would more often than not yes. listen to them. So sometimes it's not necessarily d financial, financial support. Yes. Sometimes it's just in that and, any and any net networking, any yes. exactly any opportunity you see that this particular p performer, musician, artist, comedian, whatever can plug in push the person's name, submit the person's name, send them links to these things. So it's not necessarily always financial. In that providing platforms, if, if for example, you're talking to somebody who has a TV station and they say they're looking for um, influential people to talk to, suggest somebody that you feel like is, that aligns with those moral mm -hmm, principles. Mm -hmm. So yes, well, money goes a long way, especially in Nigeria, yes, money yes, goes yes. a long way, but also sometimes just support in that you're re you're recommending the person for things you're you're putting their name out there and their content out there they might not even uh, be aware that you like their music but if you're pushing and again we're going to stick with the music because of the radio aspect of it but if you as a radio station owner the person does not know you but you like their music and you like the messaging behind it if you keep pushing it you are yes. supporting that person yes, yes so it, it's it can it can be in any way in any way that you you have to we have to support and push these people that are doing that to have the same access. So everyone who like me in the older generation keeps mm. complaining about the social media, complaining about the content of the social media. Mm. Uh, they the have a part media, to play. That we all have a part to play. Yeah. I mean, we have to invest time mm -hmm. and, and resources. Mm -hmm. We have to do some networking. Yes. We have to speak to people of like minds mm -hmm. so that we can promote the kind of content we will put in. Exactly. So the same way. We, for us in Great Studios, we kind of we put we promote uh, we make movies that kind of project this is what it ought to be. It's the same way that you yes. would need to promote artists that play the kind of content that you, you feel want. like yeah, that yeah, should yeah, be yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it means that this sit down look approach. No, of many we can engineers. never be passive. Uh -huh, you can't be passive. If you expect get, change, you cannot. Yeah, be and get a good country. No. no. If, if you're going to get a better country, you need to be involved. Uh, everyone needs to be involved in something. Yes. So Greer Studios is producing documentaries and movies mm -hmm. that project the kind of society you would like to see. Exactly. So all individuals, I mean, it means also that uh, uh, you are just an individual Christian or Muslim, mm -hmm. and then you take your religious values and send send messages to your friends mm -hmm. with those values. Within your, so, within your circle, uh, of, circle influence. of influence, there's a lot you can do. Yes. It doesn't have to be on a grand scale nation, but within your circle of influence, there's a lot you can do. And one of the key things, again, I mentioned is that normalization of the good gets rewarded and the yes. bad get punished. Yes. We yes. hardly see that. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. children are very receptive of this. And if you already have a generation that that is the norm, if your civil servant is seen as some civil servant used to be one of the highest marks of yes. of servitude to your country yes. because you are literally a servant to the to the country but now it's seen as 
because they they you can't they even ex you can they forget they don't have money they cannot survive with that and the ones that are surviving more or less people have that perception that they are in Corrupt. dubious exactly yes. so if you're seeing that this little mark that people used to aspire to already has a negative connotation what is the next generation going to think about so even at our own little circle of influence we need to normalize what the values that we we say we believe in we need to actually walk the walk the walk not just talk well, it what do you say about censorship um, in some countries, as mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. there are certain um, websites, uh, certain you know blogs, and so on that mm. that 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 are not accessible because uh, the authorities are, are trying to protect certain values, and uh, on account of that, mm. they don't allow just anything uh, in the country. I think censorship is quite tricky because there's also a popular saying: "Is who will guard the guards." Mm -hmm. in so that who is, going to, who is going to make sure that the censorship is objective mm -hmm. it's not necessarily because you're trying to promote it but propaganda the censorship is with is in fact for the good of the people yes. and this is where the trust in leadership comes in if you have complete trust that your leaders are really going to do what is best for you yes. censorship might not seem so bad but in nigeria we're already struggling with the leaders that we have, I think it would be a horrible idea to implement for us because the, 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 if I do not believe that you're doing things in my best interest, I'm not going to want to respect so any policy. So we are back make. to leadership. It has really, to be. we are back it to really, leadership because you really see, is. if people have no confidence in those who run their affairs, those They're who superintend their affairs. Even with, if you don't have any confidence in your taxi driver, you tell them to pack and come down. That's literally, the, if, you, if you know that you have a competent driver, you will fall asleep at the back of the car yes. because you know that the destination is not something that will put you in harm's way. Yes. So it's that very basic. So whatever it is that you're going to do, if the leadership at the helm is not, some, it's not a group that you have confidence in or that you trust to do the right thing, then really, there's really not going to be any progress you being know, made. Lux Terra is a leadership institute. I know that. And um, so it means we, we will need to be discussing in future as mm. to how some of the leadership ideals can mm -hmm. be put into movies, can be put into documentaries, can be put into games and yes. animations. Yes. Because perhaps the greatest task we have in this country, mm -hmm. I saw something on social media recently about somebody in Dubai mm -hmm. who knows Nigeria, uh, a Dubai citizen, and mm -hmm. who says the difference between Dubai and Nigeria is leadership. That's really it. It's leadership. That by 1969, Dubai was way, 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 behind. way behind. Yes. And that, how, how come you people have reached where you have reached? It says it's leadership. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. from elementary school, actually from the home before elementary school, yes. children need to start learning about the, leadership. Yes. So, studios like your own, therefore, mm -hmm. need to start producing a lot of things about leadership values. We can incorporate them. Yes, yes yeah. because you see, um, everything we have said now, you are, you are concluding with the fact that you need... <laughs> A leadership that the people will have confidence in mm -hmm. the people like a driver Pretty a much. driver that you'll be so confident that this person is taking you safely that mm -hmm. you'll fall asleep yes that is what we lack in this country well not for us to fall asleep we still need to be vigilant but yeah, yes I mean, yes yeah we're to point in a democracy <laughs> yes, you, you need yeah, to be vigilant to. but at least uh, mm -hmm. so that I can in at night I can sleep with both eyes closed yes that's true but today Nigerians cannot sleep with both eyes closed we don't have confidence that mm. there is some somebody protecting us. There's high insecurity everywhere. Yeah, high level insecurity. Mm. Uh, so um, it means that uh, your studio, other studios like yours, mm. we need to produce a lot of documentaries, a lot of movies, a lot of um, uh, games, a lot of. Uh, I, di I didn't know. I thought. I thought. Um, Animations and games were for children. You say, <laughs> no, there's you say, a common perception. You say even for older it people is. like me, yeah, that is. Uh, it can, it can. Yeah. So I mean, we would also need a lot of support from organizations like yourself in in with because this at the end of it, it is something that is a business. Yeah. Um. So whether it's financial or otherwise, we would definitely need support from organizations and individuals that support these kind of things. Mm -hmm. Um. At least that say they yes, support this yes, kind of thing. Yes, would yes. actually need them to actually do that for us to be able to create um these kind of content. See, so what are you insinuating? Organization that say they support this kind of thing until until we put our money well, where exactly, our mouth is. Exactly, exactly. We're going then, to be stuck with the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> On this yeah. note, we'll bring this segment to an end. I've mm. been speaking with Umi Yakubu, mm. creative developer, creative uh, designer, IT. You are an IT specialist too now. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I mean, so uh, all the modern media, she's uh, um, good at developing uh, things in all the modern media, and they have just produced the Fort Republic movie. 
excellent movie. Mm -hmm. I want to congratulate you Thank and you your studio for, you. for the work you have done. Mm -hmm. And then also for granting Luke Stera the opportunity oh, to do pleasure. a premiere of, of, <laughs> of, of the movie. It's our pleasure. Great. God yeah. bless you all. Thank you.